All right, here we are, just north of Duffery Mall. That's uh, Duffery Mall over there. And uh, we have this uh, construction site that's pretty big. I'm just covering this construction site today on filmation in Toronto, Canada. This used to be a big time school here. And it's a huge, massive, massive area right downtown Toronto. We're at uh, Dufferin and uh, Lower Street area of Toronto. These guys are watering it. Let's just check it out here. Get a good sense of what's going on here with the... I think they're keeping that building on. They're keeping that building on there? What are they, condos here? How many floors, you know? 30? Huge space. Great guys, thanks. Well, let's go check it out this way. So they're keeping that old uh, building school. I guess that used to be this whole, used to be a bunch of other school pieces here. It's a nice looking church over there. Very modern. Our Lady Queen of Croatia. This is a church. The big bells up there. It's gonna stick you guys right over the fence. I guess it's gonna be a couple of condos, not just one. And that's the old school. I mean, if you did go to school there, we're gonna find out the name soon. If you did go to that school over there, your school's gonna be a condo. <laughs> All right. I wonder what street this is. Yeah, it's an interesting side street too, because it's got a major mall right on it. And this is a uh, Dufferin Street. It's just south of Bloor Street. We're gonna to walk to Bloor Street and cover all angles of this construction. They're digging and they're BPing and all that kind of stuff. I would love to get down there and film them. Hang out the whole day with the con I used to photograph a lot of construction sites for uh, uh, Toronto Construction Association of Toronto. Back uh, when I started photography, they would hire me to go to different construction sites and film the workers for the magazines. These houses are interesting too. I think they're another five, six years. It's going to be over for them. Possibly. I got this uh, green uh, tarp over here. You can't really see much. You gotta stick the camera over the top. Heavy truck traffic over here. I wonder what happens to the school. They close the school down and then what? I don't know. Uh, the uh, Dufferin Street in Toronto. If you're joining us, we're just checking out the construction area here. It's massive, massive. It's about a block, a city, big city block. That's uh, here we go. This is uh, the old school, Kent Senior Public School, says right over there. If you went to this public school, uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, have some photographs for memory because it is what it is. It looks pretty. It looks like a school school. Some of the modern schools just doesn't look like a school school. Like the kind of schools you saw in uh, movies, American movies, you know, the old type high schools. Look at those uh, buildings. You see those buildings are just waiting, that whole corner is waiting to be turned into cool condos. All right, there's another, so I guess there's gonna be two condos here because there's another one over here. That's pretty cool, that guy's got one, let's go catch some of this
it's gonna be. This is right the corner of uh, Lauren Dufferin. We got Bogart on the line. Hey, ah, oh, they hanged up. So this is uh, Dufferin. Subway right over there. Let's keep walking this way, see. She's smart, she got her umbrella out to avoid the... Hey. We got uh, some protesters in the corner. We got a wind going, howling at us. How's the wind? Is it? So, all right, let's keep walking a little bit further, see if we can get anything interesting. In this super windy day in the city, April 28, 2023, we're doing a Toronto walk and discovery walk in this area, documenting uh, Dufferin Street construction. Oh, we're right on top of this guy. Let's just zoom the camera. They had to cut this poor tree out, I guess. Yeah, they cut a couple of trees out. Cutting a tree in the city is a big deal. You have to pay fines for it, and you can only do it if you're rich. Really slow, working real slow. Another entrance to the Dufferin subway. Let's walk a bit further and record this for documentary sake, I guess. Like, I think this area is, well, I mean, we're very close to downtown Toronto, but this Dufferin is pretty close uh, to downtown. So, I mean, this is a great area to live in if you want to still be downtown and work downtown and all that kind of stuff. Although, I don't know how many people want to live downtown these days. But I know some people still like living downtown, but I guess as time goes on, there's less and less need to be living downtown because you get everything online. The shops are all closing up. You can get your food delivered. You can get your groceries delivered. And like, do you really need to be right smack of downtown? And most people are going to be working from home. They're already doing it, so maybe everybody's gonna the whole system of uh, cities might change. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe, but probably will. These are kind of old school shops from old times. Uh, one story at top, one shop at the bottom, and I find it interesting because this is on a major, major popular street in the in the Toronto area. Like it's a major street, Bloor Street is like a major street. Look at the space here. It's massive, massive amount of space. Even goes, look at this. It goes from that side all the way. All the way to that side. It's massive. I wonder what they're going to put there. Let's walk further. Is that, uh, I don't know what's down there. Oh, look, look, this is kind of interesting. You got one Canada geese. Hello. Standing there on one foot. Why is he on one foot? He's in the wrong place. Imagine having the whole of Canada to roam in. All the lakes, beautiful ice and mountains. And Do we have any mountains here? Yeah, we have one. And then get stuck to this uh, rubble of a area downtown Toronto. Can't be a very smart bird, this one. Just like us. <laughs> anyway, so here's my uh, little documentation of this area of Toronto for our uh, today's film. Hey, we'll post this today. I might do some more walking, do some more filming, and uh, post it. And on Saturday, I will see you guys at the Toronto Freedom Rally. I'll try to film that and make a cool video of the rally. And uh, that's it. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Look, you can even see CN Tower all the way down there. Isn't that cool? Not for long. <laughs>